Hi there, I'm Andy Hillier, and today I'm going to teach you how to play Hot Blood by Calio. I think that's how you say the name. Uh, someone requested this song, so if you've got any requests, put them in the comment section down below. Uh, also, if you could subscribe to the channel, Andy Hillier 9 to 42, and give me a like on this video, that'd be awesome. Okay, I'm going to teach you how to play um, all the parts to the song. So we've got a really cool intro, uh, we've got a verse, a bridge, and then the chorus, like lead guitar part. So I'm going to teach you all of it. Um, I've never heard this song before, but actually it's an awesome song. Great guitar playing, uh, and I love the vocals on it as well. Right, let's get down to it. Starts with the intro, as most songs do. Uh, sounds like this. Okay, so let's get down to it. It starts with an open A string, and then you're gonna play uh, D2 and G2 at the same time. Uh, I'm using my fingers to play it. You could just do it with a plectrum. So you can do two hits on that. Um, or you can use your fingers. You can do it all fingers, or I'm using plectrum and fingers. However you prefer to do it, no problem. Okay, so open A, and then you're hitting D2 and G2 twice. And then you're going to play the open D string and you're going to hammer on to G2 from the open G. So you get that sound. So the first bar is. And then we've got an O into the next bar. We've got open G, then D2, pulling off to D, A3, and then A. So bar two is one. Okay, so if we put the whole of the first two bars together, we get this. Ready, and... And you can do a little bit of a blues curve on that three, so bend it a little bit out of tune. Let's do that again, first two bars, one, two, three, four. On to the next bar, bar number three, we've got open D string, and we're playing part of a D chord. We've got our second finger, or sorry, first finger on G2 and third finger on B3, hitting those two strings. And then we're gonna play three on the A string and two on the G string. Okay, so bar number three goes. And then into bar four, we're gonna play open G, then G2 pulling off to G, and then we're gonna hit uh, a B1 with the open G string, and we're gonna bend that out of tune. And so just a little, little bend out, and then G2 pulling off to the open G. So bar four is one. Okay, so let's see if we can do the whole of that first line really slowly. Ready, um. Bit faster. One, two, three, four. Faster, one, two, three, boom. Okay, on to the next line. Um, it starts almost the same. Uh, you, you can hear a little bit of a two. I think he just literally puts his finger back on, on that very first hit. Um, you can hear uh, the G2, uh, but you don't really have to worry about playing that. You could just play the open A. So open A. And then you're going to play the D2 and G2 again. So it's almost like the same uh, as the first line started. And then we've got hammer on from G to G2, playing the D string at the same time. So that first bar. Second bar plays open G, then D2, pulling off to the D, and then you play another D string. So. 
then A3 pulling off to open A, and then you're gonna play a D string into bar number three of that line, and then we play the part of the D chord like we played before with G2 and B3. And then open B and G strings, and then B1 and G2. So you hold that on, and then into the fourth bar, you pull your first finger off, so you're holding already down these two, and then you play G2, pull off to G, and then play E3, uh, and then we're gonna play like part of a G5. So we've got our third finger on B3, playing D, G, and B strings, and then open. Hopefully this is making sense to you. So let's try um, that, the whole of that second line, really slowly it goes. Okay, uh, a bit faster, ready, and. Okay, so let's try and put the two lines together. One, two, three, four. Do it a little bit faster. One, two, three, four. And that goes straight into the verse, which goes two A minor chords. Uh, into the next bar, we've got a G5, which means we just need E3 and B3, and we're going to hit. On the very last hit, we just take the fingers off. So, so that's the second bar. So bars one and two together go. One, two, three, four, one. And then two D chords into bar three. So the first three bars go. One, two, three, four, one. Okay, then we've got this F uh, into bar four. We're gonna play an F triad which is first finger across E and B strings on the first fret, second finger on G2, third finger on B, uh, sorry, uh, D3. So we're gonna hit that F, and then move that up two frets, and then we get a G. Then on the last one we hit the open strings. So you've got that bar four. Let's try the whole line nice and slowly. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one. One, two, three, four, one. And that just repeats round um, twice in the verse. So here we go, up speed. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four, one. Two, three, four. to the bridge. Now the bridge starts with an A minor chord. We're gonna have three hits on that. That goes to a G5 chord, which is E3, B3, and then E3 right at the top as well. Uh, then it goes to a D chord, three times. Then F, same tribe that we did for the verse, and then the G as well. Um, the rhythm goes like this. Okay, and that just repeats round. Up to speed, it sounds like this. One, two, three, four. And then it hits an A minor chord, which goes into the chorus. Uh, now the chorus, it just starts, it was not really kind of a chorus of like a big singing chorus, but um, it's kind of like the main like melody little part. So it hits an A minor chord, waits two bars, and then we get into 
this little melody that goes. Okay, so starting off on the eighth fret of the B string, and we're going to do a hammer on to fret 10 really quick like this. We can do that three times, it goes one. Okay, and then B8, G9, G7, D10, and then D7. So the first two bars of that go one. Really slowly, one. The next bar starts the same as the first bar. But then the fourth bar goes B8, B10, B8, then E8. Little blues curl on that, bend it out tune. Then you're gonna play B10 and then B8. So bars three and four of that line go one. So the whole of that line goes one, two, three, four, rest. Rest. On to the next line, starts at the same. And then onto the second bar of that goes B8, G9, G7 twice this time, and then D10 to D7. So the first two bars of that line go rest. And then it just slides up um, in bar three, it's just sliding that note up. Uh, and then in bar four you get which is a little slide from seven to nine really quickly. And then play B8, quick slide from nine down to seven, pull off to fret five, then you're gonna play seven on the G string and then pull off to the five. So that bar four goes. And then just to finish, uh, it's not written there, but you're gonna play uh, D7 twice, which goes back into the verse of the song as well. Hitting with a minor on another guitar. So let's try and put the whole of that chorus together. Ready? One, two, three, four, rest. that's most of the song uh, hopefully you've enjoyed this little video if you have if you could subscribe to my channel if you could leave me some comments as well that would be amazing just say if you've enjoyed it if you've hated it just let me know how I'm doing I'd really appreciate that uh, if you give me a like uh, that'd be awesome as well thanks for watching this I've been Andy Hillier and I'll see you next time